What is up guys, Grayson Stealth here. Been a long time, I know, I know. I've just been uh, sucked into this game, which we're going to be talking about today. Fallout 4. Oh man, I love this game. I Like, there, there's some people that, like, they dislike the game because, you know, the storyline's a little bit flat. But, you know what, I kind of enjoy the storyline. I just, it's something that I kind of needed. But yeah, I've sunk like 60, 70 hours into this game. And, uh... I've been loving every minute of it, and spent probably half of that building bases, which I'm going to show you today. I'm going to show you one of my bases that I'm working on that's pretty much complete. I just got to add a couple things, you know. Um, but, but before we get into that, I just want to explain what Fallout, it, Fallout is to people who basically, you know, don't know what this game is, and they're just like, oh, what is this game? I want to know. So, I'm going to tell you right now. So, basically, it's... After World War II, it changes, like, the history, like, between real-life history and the game history in this game changes. So instead, the Cold War never ended, and basically there was this massive buildup of nuclear weapons, and everyone started using nuclear power technology up until 2077, when someone fired a nuke at someone else, and just basically started a chain reaction of everyone just shooting nukes at everyone else. And, uh... Yeah, uh, you can kind of see it. I don't want to hit my base, but yeah, everything, everything in the United States was just completely destroyed uh, by nuclear bombs and stuff. But uh, yeah, so that's the premise of this game. It's like af like 200 years after nuclear annihilation, you've emerged from this vault, which protected people from the blasts and explosions of the nuclear bombs. So you emerge 200 years later because you were in a cryopod being preserved and you emerge and you just kind of stumble into this shithole and uh yeah everything's kind of mutated the people are assholes there's tons of raiders but then, the, then there's some good people but yeah so um i think that's pretty much covers everything uh so now on to my base yeah we're at the base now this is my base at let's see where it's at uh, Nordhagen Beach, that's what it's called, and, uh, yeah, here's my huge base, so I'm gonna give you a tour of it here, here's the front gate, you know, oh, okay, one of my guards is picking some melons outside of the base, that's probably not good, all my guards wear hazmat suits, by the way, just, you know, don't want to get hit by biological warfare and have all my guards die, so, yeah, so here's our front gate, just kind of open it like that, and, yeah, you walk in, you know, here's a bar. As soon as you get in, you know, you've had a rough day out in the wasteland. You just come come back and immediately, uh, you know, grab your booze. And then, uh, yeah, here's one of my settlers. And over here, I have my farm with a generator in the middle of it, which is probably not the smartest idea for health-wise, but, you know, it's the wasteland. There ain't no health restrictions and stuff. So, yeah, have this little boy and this woman, you know, tended to the farm. Got some nice pictures up on the wall here, you know, just to remind them of what it used to be like, motivate them. And uh, here's our recruitment beacon, which basically people on their like radio stuff will be like, hey, they'll hear, hey, come to this place. And uh, yeah, and then they come here. We have, uh, I think we have like 20 people here. Let me check. Yeah, we got 20 people here. And uh, oh, there's my guard up there, you know, just guarding some wind turbines create more power you know there's a lot of power for this base because I have a lot of things that require power so yeah and uh, down there is more of like a village area there's the restrooms here you know the toilet just you know squat down take a shit oh uh, went to the build bone we don't want to talk about that right now and probably should have closed the door while I was doing that but that's okay you know Curses have changed in the wasteland, and uh, yeah, you just gotta adapt to that. Oh, stray, this this thing right here is called a Brahmin. It's basically a mutated cow. And I guess it just kind of wandered through the front gate, and it looks like it's going back out the front gate. Okay, cool. All right, so before we go over into the village, I guess I should show you the main base, Fort Big Cock. That's that's why I like to call it Fort Big Cock. And uh, here's uh, two guard posts. One is being guarded. There's a machine gun turret. And uh, 
down here like this is our little market area down here you know see like there's the employees only to get back into the shops and uh, you know oh we can go to the general trader you know I don't give a shit about the ghouls farm those are a different kind of race of people I'm not gonna get into the racial racial stuff and then see like here so yeah I can trade with her and stuff and there's another bar in here with no one in it and uh an armor store i don't know where the people are but you know they better be uh, coming in and then i got a clinic here you know you get shot up in the wasteland you come here and you can get healed all up you also cure your addictions and stuff like that and your radiation and stuff uh down here with a with a mess of wires you know running around it's kind of my storage area i think i only have one box yeah it's filled with random stuff that i didn't want to sell some other boxes here Okay, so uh, let's go up to the second floor. Oh, oh God, can I can I stare? Yeah, I can stare, guys. There we go. Up here is kind of like the general living area for all the guards and stuff. Just tons of beds, TV, you know, chairs, uh, store sign clipping through the floor. That's okay. We got some nice pictures. Got a little, got nice crates here, you know, to give soldiers area stuff. I own this place. Don't be giving me that look. Down here, like up here is our main workstation, you know. Get a nice view. You can also, um, I don't know if I told any, uh, yeah, I, don't, I forgot to mention that uh, this map, we are, it's set in Boston. So like, this is all of like the, the Boston metropolitan area, you know, called the Commonwealth. And over there is downtown Boston, kind of, you know, really fucked up. And uh, there's a, there's a ship over there. That's one of the quests. Don't bo don't worry about it. So yeah, there's some more stuff that I'll go look at later. But yeah, this is my work area. Got okay, working on the chemistry set. And then up here, nothing. But up here's the real magic, you know. My power armor set. For those of you who don't know what power armor is, it's uh, basically just I don't know an exoskeleton suit. Yeah, you just, you know, press E, and you step into it, and uh, basically, you're just super strong, you know, you can carry more stuff, and, uh, yeah, so, yeah, this is my little, uh, kind of garage for them, got a flamethrower here, minigun, uh, fat man, basically what a fat man is, it'll launch, it launches mini nukes, here, I'll show you, you know, let's just uh, equip it, go down the weapons, fat man. Just need to make sure I'm not going to hit anyone. Yeah, okay, I'll just kind of shoot it over there. And yeah, it kind of launches just a mini nuke, which is uh, pretty cool. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I'll just keep it equipped. And, uh, yeah. So, that's a... Uh, oh, Jesus. So this is our super suits, pretty much. Mine's got a jetpack on it. And uh, you may be asking why it's on the top floor. Well, because uh, you don't take fall damage in these suits so I just kinda have it to where I can jump off if our, if we are under, ever under attack jeez pronunciation it's like one in the morning but yeah so you can just hop off here and you know go kill some raiders so yeah that is the main base and you know what might, might as well just jump off while we're at it and uh, show off the jetpacks as well you didn't, couldn't really see the jetpack there because we were kinda falling but uh yeah you also get a jetpack over here we have our water purifiers generating purified water and what you can do with the purified water is you go over to your workbench uh... let's just run over here real quick and uh... go to the workbench this workbench right here you know you get oh shit you go to transfer and you go into aid and see purified water 103 you basically take that and you can go sell it for a bunch of money aka caps which is the in-game currency so bottle caps I don't know how to show that to you but yeah that's the in-game currency for trading with people and stuff and uh, this this light is out of power so I need to hook that up to the power grid but yeah there's some turrets here's a generator there's two generators actually powering these purifiers because they take a lot of water and over here we have a mortar have it set up really nicely and I can call it in all across the uh, the map or the wasteland, which is really cool. So yeah, this is just a little back area over here. 
Now let me just close this door and I will go show you the, the rest of the village, which is kind of incomplete, I guess you could say. Yeah, I guess so. Whee! Okay, so here's the weapons store guy. Remember the last time I had clean fingernails? Oh really? Well, uh, that's, fa that's fantastic to know. He's wearing some old, like, you know, colonial armor, I guess. So let's let's just take some 50 caliber and you saw those caps see the C stands for caps So I have 7,000 caps and he's got a thousand so what I'm gonna do is actually sell him my purified water All of it see and so now yeah I just sold it to him and I'm gonna buy a bunch of other things just so I Can equal out actually no it doesn't matter just sell it he doesn't have enough caps I don't give a shit so just give me all your money cool Okay, so yeah, some more trading. Uh, uh, here's a clothing store. Here's a house. So someone's house made. See, they got the bed, they got a little chair and a TV, and they got a bathtub. You know, they just hop in this bathtub and, you know, post their pictures on Instagram of them, like, with their legs, you know. Just, I love bath bombs, you know, that kind of bullshit. And uh, over here's a smaller house with... Uh, chair and a bunch of branches sticking out of the floor that's okay a tv you know cool. oh we can turn it off i didn't know that they got a bed chair stuff cool yeah so then we come down here a little stairway down here this is my uh, one of my companions okay yeah well i just got a quest from her it's okay no big deal uh over here is another little tiny workstation with an armor and a weapons bench for Crafting and you know modifying your weapons and armor cool cool uh, Over here is another little house. Did I put stuff in here? Yes, I did I put a chair just to kind of you know Overlook the beautiful Whatever that is in the beach, you know watch your kids play out on the sand and get attacked by giant mutated crabs <laughs> You know fun stuff like that. I got a bed and got another shitter, you know Yeah, and this lady's like Scottish. And, uh, yeah. She's kind of just watching over here with her sniper rifle. Over here is, uh, notice the employees must ha wash hands before returning to work. I I don't know why I put that there. Just kind of put that there. This is a bar. The bar lady's not here right now. And I'm going to be putting, uh, vodka and stuff up on these shelves, you know, behind them. And there's a little table here. You know, you just kind of watch and view them. Okay, yeah, so you just, you can sit here and stuff. I can't sit there with power armor on, but yeah, you just have your drink, you know, overlook the purifiers and stuff. Then you come upstairs, this is a better view, much better view, I would say. So you got some more tables here, you know, you come out here and, you know, you sit and you get a beautiful view of the flying airship. Uh, the Predwin, Brotherhood of Steel, you know, shout out to my boys. Yeah, they're the faction I'm kind of siding with, you know, we chill, we cool. And, uh, yeah, so, that is my base. I, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and, uh, learned a thing or two about Fallout 4. Uh, so, uh, leave a like rating, and subscribe, and become a stealth boy today.